Stephanie, what a wonderful friend you have been to me. I am in awe of you for all you've done for the Max, taking the terrible grief of losing your son and turning it into an organization that's helped so many thousands and thousands of children all over the world now. I am just in awe of what you've accomplished over all these years. And personally, for me, you have really set me on the path to becoming an artist, bringing me into your art group, introducing me to Cambridge Art Association, being a wonderful mentor and a willing critic for my work. I wish you a wonderful uh, anniversary and um, we just, I'm so grateful for our friendship. Stephanie Warburg is the person who has been longest in my life, who doesn't happen to be a blood relative and is still in my life. I admire her enormously. She is talented, she is warm, she is funny, and she took a life tragedy and turned it into something truly wonderful. And I admire her greatly for that. Yeah, I'm just totally in awe of the way you've managed to make the max work and you never let up for an instant as an international organization. Hooray for you. And I've loved all of our, we started our friendship with the book club and then tennis and then lots and lots of lunches with lots and lots of laughs. And I'm looking forward to the next one. You're the top. Okay. Bye and lots of love. 30 years of dedication to the Max is a milestone, but one that has stood the test of time. There may have been moments when you thought, will we have the dedicated staff willing and able to carry out our mission? Will we continue to have the needed financial support to publish the anthology? Will we continue to find schools and teachers willing to incorporate the curriculum into their already enormous list of assignments? Will we continue to have enough volunteers? The answer is yes, and that's due in large part to your steadfast love of Max. Through Max's strength and courage, we can all look within to find our own individual courage and know that when we are faced with unforeseen challenges, our courage will come through to help us meet that moment. Thank you for offering me the opportunity to participate in the Max and to go back into the classrooms in New Bedford to share Max's story and to witness firsthand the courage that New Bedford students face every day. You have given me a wonderful gift and I thank you. Congratulations. Hi, Stephanie. We came into each other's lives in 1992 when I was newlywed and a transplant from the West Coast, having married into an old Boston family. Um, I can remember my first committee meeting that you wanted me to chair in your beautiful living room on Beacon Hill. And we had so many great years and I just thank you for everything that you've done for the Boston community, the Boston Public Schools, as well as my own life. Um, I will make 500 peanut butter sandwiches for you anytime, anywhere. Thank you so much for everything you've done. I love you. Congratulations, Stephanie on 30 years of offering Max curriculum to thousands of students. Stephanie, what I've always admired is that you never gave up. You persisted and look what you've accomplished. We're so proud of you. Seal and Bill. Hi, I'm Sally Faye Cottingham. And what I admire about Stephanie, oh, that, that's easy. Well, first of all, I have to say that when we first met, and it was almost 30 years ago, we became instant friends. There was just a, a, some kind of a connection there that happened right, right away. And then I got involved with the Max and getting involved with the Max Warburg Courage curriculum has been one of the most meaningful programs that I've ever been involved with. And uh, I, it meant so much to me to make the video Maximizing Courage. What I admire about Stephanie, gosh, there's so many things, but 
number one, I admire the wisdom that she had to create this program in honor of her beloved Max. Secondly, I admire her persistence to keep this program going. And thirdly, I admire her generosity for pouring her heart into this program that generates courage, empathy, and kindness on a grand scale, scale for everybody involved. And it means a lot to all of us, and I'm thrilled to be, to join the board again, and to be back working with everybody on this amazing program. So, Stephanie, I love you. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you so much for your hard working of the 30 years of helping kids with the courage all from all over the world. Much love from us all in Cambodia. Well, Stephanie, um, uh, Brant Pinder, um, I, I, th I thought of this, this video as an, as an extended thank you to you for all that you've done for me. Um, you, you were among the, the very first people in Boston to welcome me up here um, and, and, uh, and, and made a huge difference in my Boston experience. And, and also, um, I, I want to thank you for, for pushing me professionally um, in that you, when I talked to you about the things that I was doing, um, you, you constantly gave me motivation to do more and, and take more risk and, 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 and try and have a greater impact than just, you know, tr trying to find a, 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 you know, a way to make money at, you know, in, in, in Act 30, but, but try and make a difference in people's lives. Uh, you made a difference in mine um, and, and, and I'll always be indebted to you for that. Uh, thank you very much and, and, and um, all the best. The best ideas for new organizations are quite simple easily explained and understood. They are usually ideas that people can identify with. Organizations that can produce results that make the world a better place to live and that move the whole society forward. At the individual level, they are ideas that improve the lives of people, allowing them to realize their potential. The po the people who conceive good ideas for new organizations are usually entrepreneurs who are passionate about the causes they are aimed at. They are people who thoroughly understand the nature of the group they are seeking to influence and have deep empathy for the people in need. The good entrepreneurs are not fly in and pontificate types, but rather people who roll up their sleeves and get involved deeply themselves, making sure the organization follows the culture that has been carefully set up. The entrepreneurs with these characteristics are the ones that build long-lasting, solid organizations that stick to their missions and help a lot of people. Stephanie, you are one of these wonderfully successful entrepreneurs. Your ideas grew from participating in a tragic loss to us and a lot of the world, which gave you a special understanding of the bravery necessary to talk about it. You envisioned a system that enabled young people to look back and learn. In the process, move on. You have helped tens of thousands of students move from places they have been stuck. I have spent my life working with entrepreneurs, both successful and unsuccessful, and you are among the best. You have added a lot to the world, and you are a pleasure to work with. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you, Stephanie. On this 30th anniversary of the Courage of Children Boston and beyond, we hear the voices of children from across the world. I remain in awe of your willingness to share your heart with all of us through the Max Courage curriculum. 
You could have never imagined how your decision to share Max's story of courage with Boston children, parents, and teachers would provide such a safe space for so many children across the world to share their fears, their joys, and their hopes for a better world. Since our meeting through Boston Public School in 1997, my spirit has been lifted and inspired by the work you do and the legacy you have given all who have been touched by this program. Thank you, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. This is Pamela Zuckerman. I want to let you know how full of admiration I am for you and your work over these now 30 years to, in honor of your son, give these wonderful gifts of uh, new literacy and a focus and a platform for children to talk about the difficulties in their lives and how they approached and overcame them. So thank you again. Uh, it's an honor to, uh, to know you and to have been a participant uh, during the times when we judge the children's essays. Congratulations again on your 30th anniversary. Bye-bye for now. Hi, Stephanie. Nick and I want to congratulate you on 30 years and to say thank you for giving a voice to so many students, giving them a safe place to share their story and encourage others to do the same. It's just been um, a real joy and an honor to see all of this unfold um, and to be a part of it in a very, very small way. Um, your courage, your strength, your grace is just an inspiration and I'm so grateful to know you. So congratulations and thank you. Mom, congratulations on getting the Max Weber Courage Curriculum to 30 years. It is with your perseverance, your love, and that smile in kindness that has brought courage to so many children around the world. I could not be more proud to have you as my mother. Hello, Stephanie. We are so appreciative of your compassionate leadership. Over the years, I've been blown away by your keen insights, your creativity, your loyalty to the cause, all the while keeping us on track and moving forward. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stephanie, to have built what you have to preserve our admiration and extend the influence of Max has created an entire world of people who give serious consideration to the demands and rewards of bravery and courage in our lives. You and Jonathan and Fred have also shown us all what it takes to find those reserves within and to persevere for 30 years. You have spread this awareness and understanding to hundreds of us volunteers and thousands and thousands of young people the age of Max when he died. Being able to participate in a project whose importance has just increased with time has been such a privilege. Congratulations for all you've done for everybody, including Max. With love, bye. Hello, Stephanie. Um, Liz and I regret that we're out here in Ann Arbor under the COVID rules and haven't been uh, as active in participating with the Max Project as we would like to. Uh, however, I'd like to have a few formal words uh, thinking about you, Stephanie. Uh, I'd like to honor Stephanie, not only for keeping Max's important work of sharing his courage alive and growing with the ever-increasing numbers and generations of his peers, both published and unpublished. They undertake the risk and initiative to share their stories with us all forever. Additionally, I wish to acknowledge the importance of the strength and bonds, trust, and respect forged between participating students and teachers alike through Max's and Stephanie's 
bequest. Stephanie, I just want to say I admire your generosity of spirit. I see that in your artwork, which you uh, offer to the world for such a long and wonderful time. I see it in your connections with others and the kind of networks you create among people and friends. And I see it, too, in the authenticity you offer, the honesty, the integrity, the, the willingness to share who you are with me and with others. So um, I admire you so much. I'm so glad we met almost by accident uh, nine years ago. <laughs> Uh, we'd also just like to continue your work and Max's work as best we can out here in the frontier. Hi, Stephanie. I wanted to congratulate you on 30 years of leading the charge at Max Courage Curriculum. You've been an inspiration to so many people and have touched so many lives. Um, I just want to thank you for all your service to the community of Boston, Massachusetts, the nation, and globally. You've made an impact in so many lives. So congratulations. Here's to 30 years. We're going to keep going. Mwah. Lots of love. Bye.